Hello, welcome to this magic wardrobe. I'm Nova, your neighborhood witchy seamstress. I've been sewing for about five years now and my favorite projects are reworking thrifted materials, creating witch hats, and making capes. This is my to-do rack. These are the projects that I want to accomplish next. And so first up, we have mending this fur coat and then taking off this fur wrap and so we can upcycle the leather for other projects and this is what the hole is so i'm just going to uh, sew it together so i have my matching thread i picked a cream thread just so it can match a little better and i've got my needle and now i'm just going to stitch it up So I am done mending the fur coat. I can put it in my closet upstairs. Let's get to it. So now that I have it off, I'm just gonna do a simple stitch along the edge just so it doesn't keep fraying. Okay, so I am not going to finish. Too intense for my sewing machine to handle. Now I just have leather to cut from. Um, I really like making shoulder pads out of recycled leather for my capes. And yeah, let's move on to the next project. I have this coat. It's a bit big. I bought it to use it as a pattern to make my own coats. It's got a detailing in the back and these really cool i call it the marching band look kind of got that design in the front i would make mine a lot better i'm just gonna take it apart so i have all the pattern pieces when i want to use it since it is the extra large size i'm not going to care about seam ripping it because it's already bigger and I will modify the pattern anyways. Although if you are working with clothing that you want to use the exact size, I would definitely recommend using a seam ripper. Another thing that I like about cutting up old clothes into patterns is that I, I get to see what clothing looks like and you get to deconstruct it from the pattern. So. For example, this is what an arm sleeve looks like. The more you sew, the more you know. Um. <laughs> okay, so this is where the rack is at now. I'm just gonna take all these empty hangers. It is significantly less because of the fur coats. So now, that is my to-do. And I won't get everything done probably this week because some of them are bigger projects, but this is what I will focus on to accomplish. I just really love um, clearing off the rack week by week because I am someone who starts multiple projects, hence all of these hangers, but I am cracking down on myself and trying to start a project and then finish it before starting another one. So we'll see how this journey goes. Thanks for watching.